Hello and welcome to another video in which we're going to be looking at using averages in Excel. So there's a, three functions we're going to be looking at in particular. So the first is straightforward average, the second is average if, and the third is average ifs. Uh, so in the usual fashion we will step through each of the functions to look at how they are made up and then we'll jump into Excel to go through some examples. Before we do, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you have already subscribed, thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. So let's move on. So the first one we have is average. Uh, the purpose of average is to return the average for a group of numbers. Um, it's built up of three parts. Uh, well, no, it's not actually made up of three parts, it's made up of two parts. So the first part is number one. So this is a number or cell reference that re refers to numeric values. Uh, the second uh, part and final part of this uh, function for average is number two. Uh, this is optional uh, and it's a number or cell reference that refers to numeric values. And then we have the uh, function in its entirety in its format at the bottom of the page there. So you can see we've got average number one, number two, and then uh, further opportunity to add additional numbers if needs be. So as we touched on before, when we looked at some or some uh, and other ones where we looked at ranges or where we can enter separate number references, um, average works the same. So we can either enter here just one single range uh, for which contains all the values we want to get an average return for, or we can enter separate cell references or numbers separated by a comma. Uh, and that's what gives you the um, why we have the optional number two. Uh, so obviously the, and we have to put at least one value into here or one reference that could be a range obviously of multiple uh, cells um, or we can do um, separate references hence why the second entry is optional so that is average if and what we've done or that's average so what we've done is in the top right hand corner of the screen slightly different to normal is we've um, put a reference to the function the the slide talks to uh, this is just so when you if you want to refer back or you're looking at this um, at a later date you can clearly see what um, uh, the slide is referring to. So moving on to the next one, we've got average if. So the purpose of average if is to return the average of numbers that meet criteria. So this is going one step further where average was just going to give us the average for um, every reference uh, entered into our function. Uh, average if is now going to uh, allow us to apply criteria to which we uh, want to get the average for only those cells what meet that single piece of criteria. So what makes up the function? So we've got the first part is the range. So this is one or more cells, including numbers or names, array or references. Uh, the second part is the criteria. So this is a number expression, cell reference or text. So this is the criteria that we wish to um, uh, use to formulate our average upon. And the third and final piece is the average range. Um, so this is optional. Uh, so this is going to be the range, what has the cells uh, that we wish to be averaged. Uh, if we do not put in uh, an average range in this third part, uh, the default it was will just look at the, uh, the first part with just the range. So a standard formula would look something like this. So we would have a range um, in which uh, contains uh, the criteria. Um, well, no, to put it a different way, so say you've got uh, some information in, uh, so you might have some names in column A, and in column B, you have a list of numbers. Um, you would, f the first part of this function, you would say, okay, this range, so range A, um, contains a number of values. Uh, the second part of the function, look down that, we want to enter our criteria, so you'd say, right, for those values that you see in uh, column A, this is the criteria, so I only want you to look at these names or these um, whatever values might be in there. And then the column B, which contains the values, this is your average range uh, in which you want to uh, average values that meet the criteria um, for those values that are in the column A. Um, if you didn't put uh, the section three for the average range, the default is to go just to that look at the values what are in the uh, point number one, the range. Uh, 
Um, so hopefully that wasn't didn't cause any confusion there. That was a bit of an example, hopefully, to get you introduced to it. Uh, again, this will make more sense as we step into our examples. And we've got our formula in its entirety at the bottom there, average if. So you can see we've got the range, the criteria, and the average range there, surrounded by the block. Um, brackets uh, indicating that it's an optional entry uh, and as again you can see the top right hand corner there we're referring to average if so average ifs the third and final function we're looking at so the purpose of average ifs is to return the average of cells that meet all criteria so in recap we've had the first function average so that's just going to give us the average for all cells entered into the range or function uh, average if is going to allow us to apply a single piece of criteria uh, in which to only average values that uh, align to that criteria and then average ifs allows us to then enter um, more than one uh, piece of criteria in which we are going to um, uh, determine what values we want to put into our average formula. So what makes up the average ifs statement? We've got the average range, so this is the range to average. We've got uh, the second part is range one, so this is the first range to evaluate. Point number three is then the criteria to use on range number one. Number four is range two, um, so this is the second range to evaluate. And then lastly, we've got point number five, which is the criteria that we wish to apply to a range number two. And then lastly, we've got the bottom there, average ifs, so you can see the, the formula in its entirety, so we've got the average range. Range one, criteria one, range two, criteria two. So the reason four and five are optional is you don't need to, you could just do single piece of criteria in this formula. Um, but as touched on, you don't aren't limited to just two pieces of criteria. You can do a third, fourth and further um, if required. So again, to summarize this formula, uh, it works on the basis of identifying uh, the range that contains the values you wish to uh, average. It then gives you, okay, then asks you to define the first range and what criteria list to, you'd like to apply to that. And then what was the second range and what is the criteria you would like to apply to that second range. And that is a look at average ifs. So we've been through each of those functions now. Uh, obviously, you can go back through these and reference back uh, to this information if you need to now, or if not, we will jump into Excel and work through some examples, and hopefully um, it'll all fit together and make perfect sense. Okay, so we're now into Excel, and we're going to work through one example for each of these different functions. Uh, to do so, we've got um, a piece of a data set in columns A to D, in which we have the, the country, the gender, the name, and then the age, uh, the age, the age of these seven individuals. So what we're going to do is, well, the numbers we're going to be returning is the average age, but we have three different questions here in column G, which we are going to use the functions to answer. So the first one is average age, and this is just looking at the average age for everyone who is in our data set. So in order to do this, we can just use our uh, initial function of average. So what we do is we enter our equal sign and type average and then open brackets and then what we're going to do so as again just in recap what we could do is enter our cell reference a comma our next cell reference another comma and as you can see building out on our prompt that comes up from our our function here you can see we've got these number one number two three and four so we can enter those um, those values in separately um, but what we're going to do because it makes a lot more logical sense is just click and select that whole range of d2 to d8 and close our brackets so that's all the values contained within that range we want to average and hit enter and we've got a value that's come back so what we'll quickly do is just do some formatting so let's just format our cells here. Let's do a number format. We'll get, uh, we'll, what do we want? No, we'll get rid of decimal. We'll keep one decimal place. Why not? And do OK. So there we, well, no. Mm, OK, let's get rid of uh, the decimal place. Change my mind just to give us a round number. There we go. 
So we can see the result of our using our average for all the ages present in our data set is saying that the average age for everyone is 47. And as you can see, we've got various ages around here spanning from 32 all the way through to 64. Um, the next part here, we've got average females age or the average females age. So this for this one, this is where we can use our average if to apply a single piece of criteria. So the question is just asking, what is the average age of the females in our list? So what we can do is we enter equal sign, type in average, but this time enter the letters I and F at the end, open our brackets. And then we can see our prompt, the information that we need to enter. So what we want to do is this first range here is the range that contains the values that we want to apply our criteria to. So it's gender, so we can select all these values here in our gender information, B2 to B8. And then it enter a comma. We'll then in quotations type female as the gender that we wish to look for or their criteria we'd like to apply, followed by her last comma to then separate out the average range. And we this range is the same here as we did in the first question, so it's the range that contains the ages. So what our formula is going to do it is going to calculate an, uh, an average um, for all those that are female. So to, to summarize that better, it will look down column B, it will pick out only those references where there is the female, so uh, line three, five, seven, and eight, and it is then only going to average those corresponding values in column D. So to finish our formula, we just do our close brackets and then hit enter. And there we can see we've got the 46. So it's slightly different. So the uh, comparing the overall average age to the average age of females, we can see that females are uh, 46, so one less or one below the 47. Um, Okay, and then to take that one step further uh, and look at our last function, what is average ifs. So this is now going to allow us to apply uh, more than just one single piece of criteria to answer this question. So this is now the average age of females who are in the United Kingdom. So it's the average age of females, we just did in uh, this one here, what gave us the result of 46. It's pretty much the same as that, but taking it one step further to say, okay, we only now want to look at um, the gender uh, female uh, and in the country of the United Kingdom. So to do that we enter our equal sign again and lastly type in average and this time IFS to give average ifs, open our brackets and we can see from our prompt we've now been given the information to enter here. So slightly different to the previous one so whereas previously for just the single piece of criteria uh, we entered the criteria first, followed by the um, the range that contains the values we want to average. This time we've got to put that average range in first. So we'll start off by doing all the values in column D first, and then here a comma, and now we can step into entering the criteria. So the first part is we'll we'll follow on from last one. So we'll do the um, the gender of female. So criteria range one. So this is the range that contains the criteria, the gender, comma, and what is that criteria we want to apply? So we only want to look at those who have a gender of female. And then our last and or our second and last piece of criteria is then country. So the criteria range is obviously the range of uh, cells that contain country by comma, and then we can enter United Kingdom. And then close brackets. And for both of these examples, we've been entering the text in, uh, like as you can see, with female and United Kingdom of static text values there. Uh, you could have these values in a different cell, and you could just reference the, um, the cell in there rather than putting the string. So you could just put um, J2 or wherever, whatever reference contained the values of either female or United Kingdom you want to filter on. But for this example, and to hopefully make it a bit more clearer, we just typed it in there as a static value. But there we go. So we've got the average ifs there as it's full, um, the full formula. And we just hit enter and get the result. 
cool. So now we can see it's a different value altogether. So we've got 64. Um, and that's because we've got the average age of females in the United Kingdom. So if we look at the United Kingdom, we can see that, ah, in fact, there is only actually uh, one female lady, Jade, in the UK, uh, and it's 64. So obviously it's going to be, the average is going to be the same as that. If we have a, so like the United States, ah, what we could do is change that to the United States. So let's put United States in here, not to cause confusion. So let's now look at the average age of females in the United States. So in here we can now update this. So rather than United Kingdom, we change Kingdom to States. And it might help if I put a space in between United and States. And there you go. We've got now a value of 40. And that's because we've got um, two individuals there. So we've got Helen, age 39, and we've got Anne, age 41. So the average between 39 and 41 is going to be 40 in between in the middle there. And there we go. That's our three functions used to answer those three questions. So the first one, average, just a single range. We've entered in there of all the ages we wish to average. The second, average if. So we've put in our criteria range, the range or the criteria like to apply to that range. And then again, those same, um, uh, the range containing the values you wish to average for average if. And the last one of average ifs, we've entered our criteria range here first of D2 to, uh, D2 to D8, followed by the first criteria range, the criteria to apply a female and the second criteria range and the criteria to apply to that range. So that is the end of the video and we hope you, um, that was a good introduction to using averages um, and again if you did already know about average hopefully this has now um, introduced you to the average if and average ifs or if you did already aware of these formulas hopefully that's given you a bit more detail on how to use them. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already please do give the video a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated uh, and also please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to get out uh, a lot of content at the moment and we have some great videos coming up. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. In the description, you'll see we have got a Facebook group and a website. So by all means, check those out. Um, we, we use them to sort of share more questions and interact with um, everyone as much as we can. Uh, if you do have any questions, again, those are two great platforms to reach out to us, to ask us questions on this video or any other video you've seen. And as always, you can drop us a comment um, in the comment section of this video if there's anything you would like us to elaborate on or, you, again, you have any questions and need a bit more detail. Right, thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.